Good evening. I'm Dr. Jane. I'm a practicing physician in Orlando for 36 years. I specialize in anti-aging medicine, emergency medicine, and pediatrics. It is indeed an honor to be here to share with you another story which further proves the greatness of America. We own three hotels, one in Orlando and two in Claremont. Last time I shared with you the story from the hotel from Orlando. Now I'm going to share with you another story from another hotel in Claremont, Florida. This hotel had 200 rooms and we had no control on who flushes what down the toilet. In 2015, we had an issue with the sewage blockage and we found that issue right away and we corrected it by calling the emergency service to unblock and we paid $3,000 to that service. The health department wanted to fine us $3,500. My husband called the health department and told them that it was not our fault and the situation was beyond our control and we should not be fined for any of that issue. The health department said that, okay, we can reduce the fine from $3,500 to $2,000. And my husband came to me and said that, hey, they reduced the fine from $3,500 to $2,000. Why would we pay for something when it is not our fault. At that point, I told my husband that we should go and talk to the health department attorney, make an appointment so we can go and talk to him, explain the situation, and tell him that we should not be fined for something we did not do. They tried to give me an appointment for 9 a.m., but that would not work because I have to come back to my emergency medical center at 9.30. They opened at 8 a.m. and I requested the appointment for that time, but I never heard back from them. I thought it was resolved until we got the final order for the fine. They gave me that fine without hearing, so I requested one. We went back and forth with the presiding officer, and then presiding officer sent us to DOA, a division of administrative hearing, which is a special court. We went back and forth with the judge in Doha. We were going to have a hearing, but one day before the hearing, we got an email we're going to drop the fine to $500. So when we got the offer of $500 to settle the case, my husband said, do you want to do it? And I told him, why are we going to do this settling the case for $500 when we didn't do anything wrong? If I didn't do anything wrong, why should I be paying it? And that was our principle. Guess what? Next day, around 12 o'clock while I was working, I got a call from his boss, and she said that we're going to drop all the fines if you want to settle the claim. So then she sent me the settlement agreement. I signed it, and she called the judge because she already left Tallahassee to come to Orlando. We finally settled the claim, and we got the justice at the end with all the hard work and standing on our principle. In another countries, I cannot stand up like that for myself. But in this country I can and I did. I encourage you to stand up for yourself if you have not done anything wrong. In this country you can. And thank you for listening to my story and God bless the USA.